Hi, how's everyone doing? Welcome to another episode presented by Carrie from Andon Store. Anyway, not sure how many of my 371 followers are still checking out my channel, but if you do, you may find that we and our store are quite busy with new products releasing. So new products would offer customers more options, also it will make customers confused. So today I'm gonna introduce you one of our new models, 26, no, 246SM. M stands for metal stand. To make this demo video go smoother, I will call it 246S from now on. If you purchase on Amazon a lot, you may notice that the logos are different here. Um, here is a short background story. Endostar currently has two official sub-brands, Link Micro and Drillens. In the future, Endostar, Link Micro and Drillens will focus on different product lines. But so far, currently, products under these three brands are still the same. So if you purchase on Amazon and there is no stock and they're in the store, official store, you could also check the other two brands. They are the same quality and we provide the same good after sale service. Back to our topic today, 246S. This device is a little more complicated than our previous models. So I'm gonna break it down to three parts, monitor, lens, and bracket. The monitor part includes the screen, main board, and the sensor, etc. As an image device, the most important feature we care is its image presenting and processing ability. So I list some of the main specifications here. So you could say 246S uses a 4 megapixel HD sensor. The microscope can record video resolutions up to 2160 pixel, what we call outer HD. The highest frame rate reaches to 120 frames per second and its best photo resolution reaches to 24M. And now let's say how it performs. I think the image quality is pretty good, but my comments may not be very objective. So how do you think it's image quality? As a microscope, of course you will care about its magnifications. Some people need high magnifications, but the others care more about the field of view. Maybe you need a wide range of magnifications, or you are confused with various numbers online and not so sure how much time zooming is good for your specific work. If so, I'd say this model probably could help a little because it comes with three lenses, covers a wide range of magnifications and suit for different purposes. Here is a sample sheet of all three lenses zooming ratio and their working distance. I know it may not be clear enough, well conclusions are lens A works with most specimens Lens D is specific for slides, and Lens L is designed for high working distance need. This is how Lens A works. I changed the specimens just so you could tell how different color, size, materials look like under it. By the way, 246S is the only model we have that can display both an external monitor and its built-in monitor at the same time. And here is a video I compared lens A and L while recording the same PCB. 
Just so you could tell that lens L can zoom in much more when distance is high. An obvious drawback with lens L is it cannot focus when working distance is shorter than 9 cm and this is where you should switch to lens A. The last part of this demonstration is about the new bracket. First of all, welcome to our old friends AD407 and ADSM302. Even these two are still popular models, but we do got complaints about the brackets. Let's start with AD407. Its stand is the most common type you could find in the market. No matter how popular it is, the fact you have to admit is it's a little small. And that's why we and all other sellers start to sell it with an extension tube. If you need an extra extension tube to hire the bracket, check the link down below. In the link, we have listed all endorsed armados this tube can work with. And speak of ADSM 302, I personally like this model very much. True, the working distance of this one is short, but this bracket is just a solid, firm, and nice looking one. Um, but on usage wise, for a lot of engineers who need to operate an air gun or soldering iron under the camera, this stand is clearly not high enough and has no room for expansion. To solve all the pain points, Ta-da! Here comes our newest stand. I call it mini boom arm stand. Yes, it's not a real boom stand that has a big working range. But meanwhile, not everyone has a big lab to let a boom stand freely wavering in. And a real firm boom stand does cost a lot. So you could think our newest stand a more cost effective alternative which can also realize a boom stand work to adjust the optical stack horizontally and vertically only in a smaller area. Compared to the old version, we also add a secondary bracket to this mini boom. Instead of, just, instead of adjusting the whole part, which could cause obvious shake, now you could simply fix your arm to a certain height based on your working habits and then adjust the secondary bracket mostly. See, we even enlarged the knob. For people who own our previous models, if you want to upgrade your bracket to this one, check the link down below. And to thank my viewers of this video, apply a coupon carry and enjoy a 10 USD off discount. So here is the video today. Hope you guys enjoyed it and don't forget to give a big thumbs up. If you have any questions, suggestions, even when you couldn't access to the after sales service, you could always come to me. See you guys soon.